Hi, I'm Kristen Rivas from MindTalk Hypnosis. I truly believe hypnosis is perhaps the most phenomenal thing in the world because I'm pretty sure it helped to save my life. You can read the page on my website entitled Kristen's Story, where I share my own personal experience with hypnosis. It tells how I went from a wheelchair wearing a helmet due to daily violent seizures to perfectly healthy in just one session of hypnotherapy. Now I experience the benefit of paying the health and healing forward by helping people just like you. That's why you'll have a hard time finding anyone more passionate or dedicated to their profession or hypnosis. You might not be able to tell by looking at me, but I'm one of the most qualified and experienced practitioners around. Since 2009, I've had over 700 hours of the latest training from some of the world's best and leading hypnotists. I've had the pleasure of hypnotizing over 500 clients to date. If you're watching this, you're at least open to or curious about hypnosis. When you're open to discovering the truths about hypnosis, it's easy to disappear any nerves or fears you may have once had about experiencing it. Because you'll find out just how easy and enjoyable it is to go into trance, you'll find what it means to have your unconscious mind become more responsive. It's simple, especially when you have a skilled guide like me, you can more easily communicate to and influence your unconscious mind to bring about the changes you want. When we use the term unconscious mind in my profession, we're referring to the parts of your mind in control of automatic processes. These parts of your mind hold the keys to what regulates your health, decisions, creativity, and beliefs. Your unconscious mind is also in charge of your emotions, bodily processes, skills, and habits. Think about how you drive a car, heal from a scratch, how you speak, how you react to ideas and people. You are born with some of these abilities and others you learn over time. Once they're programmed, they happen automatically. Hypnotherapy utilizes hypnosis to reach the unconscious mind and make positive transformations a person has asked for. I have found that you get better results and enjoy yourself more when you have a decent understanding of what hypnosis is and what you may experience. So just what is this mystical, seemingly magical thing called hypnosis that I credit for saving my life? I think of hypnosis as a focused or relaxed state of increased responsiveness. The truth is we go into trance quite often and there are many kinds of trances. You will be familiar with the main three types. The first is where either your conscious mind is extremely focused or absorbed into something. Ever heard of an athlete or an artist referring to being in the zone? Maybe you've experienced it for yourself. The parts of your mind in charge of automatic processes are working at a different rate during these states. Your unconscious mind can process at a rate of 1 million to 2 billion bits of information a second. Your conscious mind computes at maybe 5 to 12 bits of information a second. In computer speak, your hard drive is working to a greater degree when you're in a trance. This helps an artist or a performer let their creativity flow in such an effortless way it seems to be pouring out of them. This allows an athlete to be on his game. He's not so much thinking about things as he is just doing them. The second kind of trance is when your consciousness is unfocused or mellowed out. It may seem non-existent at these times, like when you're daydreaming or getting a massage. You may be familiar with the term and the experience of highway hypnosis. This happens when you're driving along. You may either be extremely focused or distracted. Maybe you're paying more attention to your own thoughts or a song, or perhaps you're just playing daydreaming. But you pass an exit or end up pulling into your driveway wondering what happened. Just where did your mind go during that time? How did you manage to keep safe and drive when you weren't even paying attention to the road? Have you ever negatively hallucinated an item that was right in front of you? Your car keys, your wallet? Well, welcome to the realm of your unconscious mind. You are conscious and awake during these times, were you not? 
You may or may not remember everything that happened specifically in that state, but hypnotic phenomena occur daily. Hypnosis is when that state is guided and utilized for a purpose. The third type of trance is one you may also recognize. It happens when we experience shock, surprise, or confusion. Think of somebody you see on the side of the road who's just been in a car accident and how suggestible they are. They may be completely still and wide-eyed or wandering around until somebody, like a paramedic, starts giving them some direction. Unless that person is in an overwhelming state of panic, they will typically easily do whatever is being asked of them. When you consider this kind of a trance, it will give you an idea of how stage hypnotists are able to introduce stage subjects to experiencing hypnotic phenomena so quickly without hardly any conditioning. Stage hypnotists tend to use instant or rapid inductions that involve shock and confusion. They may tap a volunteer on the back of the head and sway them off their balance and shout the word sleep immediately, stabilizing and deepening their state of trance with a set of directions. Of course, people who go to a stage hypnosis show are usually looking for a fun time. Volunteers want to enjoy the experience of being the life of the show, and they know they are supposed to do as they're told. Adding to this mix of willingness, compliance, and expectation, a stage hypnotist also takes advantage of a process called fractionation, where they are rapidly and repeatedly reinducing trance. All of this creates a very powerful recipe for subjects to enter a dreamy, less inhibited, extremely suggestible state of trance. This is why you may have found yourself surprised by what you, a friend, family member, or coworker may have done in a stage hypnosis show. It also explains why some volunteers will come down from a show in a bit of a dazed and confused state saying they may not be able to remember everything they did entirely. Of course, they may not be wanting to own up to any particularly silly acts of theirs, using hypnotic amnesia as a perfect excuse. Does becoming more focused, imaginative, or relaxed have anything to do with your ability to remain in control? Let me put it this way. We all have the ability to be influenced to one degree or another in any state. But your critical factor, the part of you that's in charge of your personal safety, whether it be physical, moral, financial, or otherwise, this part of you is never put to sleep, blocked, or shut down in any way when you're in a trance. A guard dog may be relaxed and taking it easy until the moment he hears, sees, or smells even the littlest thing that seems wrong to him. This is like your critical factor. So the safest time to be hypnotized is when you've decided you're going to and why. When we go over your goals and the suggestions you want, it is within both of our best interests to do a good job for you. It's when you're not paying attention that other people, the media, or other influences in your life can give you negative suggestions that stick. That's the real problem. In fact, people often come see me so I can help undo those negative suggestions and direct them to the positive thoughts, feelings, and behaviors they actually want. So you can relax when you're in a trance, knowing you can hold on to your personal secrets and willpower even when you're hypnotized. You may want to talk about something only if it seems important necessary, or relevant in our session. If you're willing, you can harness your will to help you achieve your goals in hypnosis. It's not important to know how hypnosis works or if you're doing it perfectly. It's more important to simply think yes to positive suggestions you want. As long as you fully believe any suggestions or ideas being presented to you are safe, desirable, important, and beneficial, your unconscious mind will take them in to become your reality. Unfortunately, the term suggestible, as used so commonly in the hypnosis profession, gets a bad reputation. Many people confuse suggestible with the term gullible. They are not the same. 
To be open to suggestion is not the same as being easily deceived or cheated. That's why I prefer using the term hyper-responsive instead of suggestible. Think how it's a good thing to naturally respond to a beautiful sunset or loved one's touch. It's also a good thing to be able to keep your natural, cautious response if someone asks you to rob a bank or give out your credit card information. You'd like to be able to respond instantly in whatever way you feel is appropriate in those kinds of situations. And that's what you'll be able to do when you're in a state of trance. Hypnosis is when that trance is guided and utilized for a purpose. Now, everybody with normal brain functioning experiences trance. So don't worry, you'll be good at it. And anyone who has the desire to follow simple directions can experience hypnosis. It helps when you feel safe and have a desire to follow the directions that are being given to you. If you have seen another hypnotist before, and it didn't go well, it could be that their personality or methods being used weren't a good fit for you. This is why you might find varying statistics in studies of hypnosis. Standardized testing, group hypnosis sessions, they give mixed results. The suggestions or methods in such situations are being given as a one-size-fits-all kind of a deal, and it's not a cookie-cutter process. The more suggestions are specifically tailored to you, the more you will find hypnosis to be effective and enjoyable. I hope you've enjoyed learning about hypnosis. To schedule a session with me, please call 206-707-6501. That's 206-707-6501. Or you may book your appointment when you go to the services page at mymindtalk.com and click on the Schedule Now button. You can also contact me with any questions you may have by filling out your information on the Contact Kristen page. Thanks, and be well.